<laughs> yeah. What eye booger? Like pig. Oh, I think it looks better if we back. Oh my god, did you get my snap? Of what? My bloody lips. What? What happened? My lips chap so much in nighttime because they're so dry. How do you get your snap? And my teeth are all bloody and I woke up and my lips are all bloody. And like, I could feel them like crunch together and I pulled them apart this morning. Oh. And it was like, and blood. <laughs> Good morning guys. I hope everyone's having a great day so far. Jeb and I are here. We are, well Jeb just ate some breakfast. She's drinking her protein hot chocolate. I'm gonna bring her to school in a little bit. Um, today's video, you can see the title of the video. It's gonna be about cardio. So like my favorite, hey pig. Pig's my favorite pig. form of cardio, what I do for cardio and different things that you guys can do for cardio. Cardio is something that not a lot of people want to do. I for sure don't like doing it, except for in the form of sport, which I'll talk about and get into. But yeah, so we'll talk about... Sorry, the camera cut out there, ran out of space. But I was going to say is that, yeah, today's topic is going to be about cardio. Uh, my favorite type of cardio, what I do, what you guys can do, and different types of cardio. And what you can do to make it easier for you. So before I go ahead and dive into the main portion of this video, I just want to address that cardio is not going to be the only thing that is going to help you lose weight. So weight loss and fat loss is all about calories in versus your calories out. So cardio does help in the sense that it is burning calories, but at the end of the day, if you are eating more than you should be to lose weight, then you're not going to lose weight. It's kind of contradictory at that point. If you're doing cardio and then you're still eating more than you should be to lose weight, it doesn't add up and it's not going to work. I'm not going to get too deep into this video, but I just wanted to make sure that it is addressed that cardio is not going is not the key to lose weight and to lose body fat. I do have a video up about how to track your macro macros and how to find that caloric deficit or that caloric surplus if you're trying to put on weight, but that caloric deficit to lose weight. So I'll link that video in the description below. And I just wanted to make sure I got that out there before I dive into this video. Um, but yeah, now that I have addressed it, let's dive into this video. All right, so my favorite method of cardio is sport. Here we are playing soccer. I've been playing sports for most of my life, so it's something that has come natural to me and it's something I've always enjoyed. Playing sports is a super easy method to get your cardio in because when you are playing sports, you aren't thinking about the cardio aspect. You're thinking of the game or the actual sport you're playing, which makes it easy to not think about. Another thing I like about playing sports is that it keeps your athletic side trained. So in terms of sprinting or jumping or whatever the respective motion you are conducting in the sport. The only thing about playing sports is that it is tough to record or track how much running, sprinting or jumping you're actually doing. Unless you had a watch that tracked all of that for you. Other than that, playing sports is by far my favorite method of cardio. What's going on YouTube? So as I was saying earlier in the video, this is my favorite form of cardio, through sport. Today we're playing soccer. We play soccer every Tuesday night. And this is my favorite form of cardio that I was talking about earlier. So this is one of the three forms of cardio that I try to implement when I'm cutting weight. The next method of cardio is the Stairmaster or the treadmill. At first glance, this is probably the toughest and the most grueling one, but definitely very effective. What I do to make these sessions fly by on the machine is I put on YouTube videos. This is a great opportunity for me to catch up on vlogs or whatever series you may be watching on YouTube. It doesn't even have to be YouTube. Podcasts or even music to get you through the session will do just fine. I personally just find it easier to watch these videos rather than listen to music or podcasts as the videos keep me very distracted. HIT stands for High Intensity Interval Training. 
HIT is very similar to playing sports in the sense that you are doing a workout which involves running, sprinting, and jumping. Oftentimes, HIT workouts are done in intervals, hence the name, which means that it consists of a hard exertion of effort for a continuous time, followed by a rest period, then repeated. Again, very similar to sports. HIT workouts are a great alternative to those who don't have access to recreational sport or recreational facilities. At the end of the day, any sort of workout that gets your heart rate up and sweat going will make for a great cardio session. Guys, I want to thank you all so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give it a like, thumbs up, subscribe, share it, do whatever. I really appreciate it, guys. I had a really fun time making this one. It was a little bit of a different vibe today. Um, it wasn't like your typical vlog, but I had a really good time making it. So I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next one.